Jaya. I posted a video recently about third eye activation and today I want to dive a little bit deeper into this idea or topic. I hope you have been enjoying your meditation if you have been practicing that. I remember that it was about chakra breathing, third eye breathing, projecting the breathing out, breathing in through the third eye. And what I want to talk about today is third eye crystal grid activation or how to activate the third eye's crystal grid. When you see yourself, <coughs> you see an individual, right? It's an egoic embodiment, it's a spiritual embodiment, it's a being, an entity. Now imagine that through the third eye, we actually connect with the unified grid or field of consciousness. It means that we enter into a field which is a collective field. And it's like a network of energy that is being sustained by the individuals or the people who are activating that grid through their third eye awakening, but is it also being sustained by forces and powers, angelic powers within the field of the human planetary consciousness. So what I'm talking about now is not science fiction, okay? It's an experience, it's a reality that you might tap into when you start activating your third eye. It means that you are going to open that vision and it gives you an access point or the vision of what is actually happening. And something that you might realize is that your third eye, your third eye, and your other chakras as well, are not just isolated gateways. It means that your third eye is an access point to a collective field and your third eye is energetically connected with all the activated third eyes on this planet together within a field of angelic expression. And so what that means is that through the activation of the, the third eye you are entering into a collective field of energy. that I call precisely the third eye's crystal grid. And so this field of consciousness, once you realize that it is there as a vibration or as a frequency, then you can go back, go back to that source, go back to that home base, to that field of unified consciousness. And the more you activate that connection, the more your third eye starts blossoming and being activated, the more you enter into synergy and synchronicity waves with those who are active on the same field. And so this is really a magical process. And I don't believe that it's new on this planet. You know, these grids of unified consciousness have been active on the planet for thousands, maybe millions of years. But they have been hidden sometimes behind veils. And my guess is that some individuals have been accessing it in the past, masters, you know, fields of masteries could mean like thousands of people on this planet who had access 
And my guess or my feeling is that right now there is a planetary awakening. It means that we are accessing deeper fields of consciousness where the veils between the worlds are being slightly dissolved and then those gateways or those pathways to this unified field are being activated. So I don't have science to prove it, only experience. You know, within the field of spiritual exploration, we have what we call intuitive research. It means that you feel things, you meditate and then you have visions about the energetic dynamics of life. So this is where it comes from. And this is where this message comes from. From an experience, from a spiritual experience in deep meditation. And what is interesting is precisely when you know you start putting messages like this one or ideas like this one out there, you realize that it matches the vision of other people who are having the same kind of experience. It means that there is a certain reality or a certain vision that is being imprinted in human consciousness because we are being revealed more and more of the dynamics of what's happening behind the veils of the invisible. It's a magical process. magical awakening. So the reason why I'm putting this video out there is so that you realize that your awakening and you doing your meditations alone in your house, the physical separation that you might experience is not the reality you enter into. In fact, you are entering into a field which is a unified field. Maybe thousands or millions of people are active on that field. And as more and more human beings wake up, more and more of this greed is being activated and becoming stronger and stronger in the process. So it's not necessarily something that you can you know, force. All you have to do is just meditate on the third eye. The code word for the third eye is Ajana or Ajanaya. I use a modified name for, for the third eye. So you can meditate on that word, but I give you more that techniques in another another video. Right now you can, you know, breathe through the third eye and realize that this is a gateway, it's really a gateway. It's like a planetary unified field of internet energy. It means that it's a net. <coughs> this is why we can call it the third eyes crystal grid and um, my belief or my experience is that it is powerful reality that sustains and activates uh, consciousness on this planet and this is how part of the process um, to transmit new codes of evolution for the planet and humankind. It means that we, as human race, are not the only ones who are sustaining or being active on this grid. Imagine that you have actually codes being transmitted 
from other sources and being activated in this field of consciousness that we can access through third eye activation. And so if you don't have, you know, sometimes you're in the choice making zone or you're not clear about where your life should go, what is your mission, and you want to have a vision about what you're supposed to be doing, the clarity. So go and access the third eyes, crystal, net, network, grid, and uh, that will open up a window of awareness and consciousness, and also make you realize more clearly the role that you can play for the evolution of this planet and humankind. Stay tuned, stay connected.